Hi everybody, it's Brian Jones, the Sunday Carpenter. Today I'm going to attempt to rebuild my portable Makita table saw. Hi everybody, so this is a project that I've been dreading and been putting off for a long time. I started this about a year and a half ago and I thought it would take me about two hours. Funny how that happens. Anyway, I've got beautiful weather. I've got some time on my hands, so I figured I'm going to do this thing. So I've got the parts lined up. I've got the top here, which has been cleaned. I've got the body, which has been cleaned. I've got the motor over here. The switch that needs to go back together. So anyway, I'm going to try to put this together today. I'm not going to film the putting it all together part, because I think you'd get mad at your screen and start throwing popcorn at it. Like screaming at me, Brian, you're doing it wrong, you fool. Also, you might see my head explode. At the end of this video, we'll get to see a completed saw. So where do we start? I guess we'll start here with a cigar box full of loose screws, the plans, and some screwdrivers. Well, just for shits and giggles, I'm gonna run the videotape while I try to put this together. Let's start with the top. Six screws holding this thing on. Let's see if I got six screws that look the same. In my kit. In my kit. In my tobacco box full of screws. Hey, what do you know? Six screws. Try one out. Like a glove. Three, four. Okay, that's held on by four screws. Two sets of four in here. These two are accessible from here. These ones are not accessible from there. The round one wouldn't be accessible. But this one would be with a wrench. I think this is the one that goes there. And there's four screws up front. I think these round ones will probably go there. We'll mount the motor with the hexagon screws. So screw this down. And we're gonna reattach the power, the on off switch. That's about all there is. Okay. This will go on first. Screw those in, wrench them down tight. Now put this on. I install it upside down. So <laughs> no matter how I turn this, this wouldn't meet its holes. That means those are upside down. Gotta take them off. And then put them back on. There's two little clips down in there that are supposed to hold the wire in place. Sweet. screws. Put these in, get everything set here and here, then tighten it all up. Avengers Assemble! So the next thing we do is scratch our handle. Nope. Next thing we do is attach our locking. Yep, you go next. Now 
this goes back in. need to go buy a saw blade, put that in, I think we're ready to go. There's one thing that it's missing is the blade protector that goes behind the blade. When I checked on the internet it says that those are not available anymore. But I really wish I had one. So if anyone knows where to get a blade protector for this Makita 2708, please comment down below. To help me find one. Thanks everyone for watching this project, for watching all the videos. Really appreciate it. Um, really makes me feel good to make the videos, knowing that people are watching them. I'm really excited with how it came out. When I first got it, none of these knobs turned. Everything was just stuck, and it was just really bad condition. Now the raising and lowering mechanism works. Before you couldn't even turn that. The lock handle is pretty smooth. The top is smooth. It used to be covered in tape and guck. And now that's all cleaned up. So I'm really excited. I think one of the first projects I might make with this is make a sled for the top so I can get nice straight cuts. So stay tuned for projects incorporating my refurbished Makita saw. Thanks for watching that video everybody. I hope you liked it. If you did, hit the like button down below. And if you haven't already, why don't you hit the subscribe button too. If you've got any comments on how I can upgrade and improve my Makita saw, please write a comment down below too. I always read them. Oof, there goes my phone.